time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this review started. You warned me that now that Draupadi entered and, and the marriage and, and the Pandavas went and got their own little kingdom over there, that stuff was going to get go down now. Stuff was going to go down and y'all ain't wrong because I just finished season 12, which is only five episodes, but did so much happen? I'm telling you. The Pandavas are living in their little town over there and remember... Remember that last we saw, they had, uh, Arjun had to go off and do his penance and leave for a while. I guess I don't know, even know how long. It did. He just leaving. And now they're over there without Arjun. Poor Arjun. You know I love me some Arjun. And they can't do, what is it called? The Yagya, what is it? Ra Rajasuya? Yag Yagya? Raja Suga, yeah. I guess this is some kind of ritual to like kind of crown the king in his little land and stuff there. But uh, apparently they can't do it without Arjun there. I didn't understand the ritual. I don't understand why Arjun has to be there. Uh, maybe because they shoot off arrows and stuff and they need Arjun's arrows. But so that's put on hold with his little penance. But in the meantime, you know, over there, Shakunti. And his little the conniving self, he's got plans. So he got the plans. He wants to marry that mean old prince off and, and form a bond with the Dwarka. Because who doesn't want to have a bond with the Dwarka and the Krishna? Well, I, I mean, everybody would. I'd be like, oh, I want to be, I want to go live in Dwarka. <laughs> That's where I would want to live during this time. So he's gone buddy up to the oldest brother. And and uh, t tells the that little mean old king their buddy up to the oldest brother, and then they gonna get the 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 sister promised to the mean old king, which I was like, no, I don't want that mean old king and married to that sister, even though I got a little jealous of her earlier because she was, you know, kind of looked like she had some little feelings or something for our June. Remember when he's playing that little music and she was just watching. But I don't wish it. I don't wish that kind of hatefulness on her. Not to be with that mean old king for life. Could you imagine having to be married to him? And even the sister knows, right? Even the sister sub. What is her name? Sub Subhardra. Even she knows. She's like, I don't. She over there crying, all upset. Even crying the cunty. Even crying the cunty when they gonna come over there in the town and and be like, oh. Uh, you know, we're gonna get the marriage going and everything. She cried the cunty. Or she don't want to marry him. I don't blame her. Then she drops the bomb on the Kunti. You remember? She's like, I want to marry our June. And Kunti's like, what? I'm put. Now Kapoor Kunti's in the middle of this. Like, oh, Lord. Oh, geez. I don't, you know. She's like, D -d triangle here. And now I'm, I'm, poor Kunti's always put in the middle of it. <laughs> always. But Krishna's always there to save the day, my, my Krishna. First of all, because I love when him in that, you know, Shakuni, the one I, I love when Krishna tells him off. Because <laughs> Shakuni come up in that town in the Dwarka and thinks he's going to run some stuff. And thinks he's going to get something over on, on Krishna. And Krishna's just always there with a smile, ain't he? Uh, Krishna's always there like, oh, remember he saw Shakuni? He's like, come play this game with us, Shakuni. Come on and play. <laughs> and Shikani's like, Shikani stopped his tracks. He's like, is he talking to me? Is he? He's like, zippity doo dah. Who you talking to, Krishna? And Krishna's like, you. Come on, Shikani, come play. I was cracking up. I was cracking up like that because Krishna don't care. Krishna's like, I'm gonna tell you, Shikani. <laughs> and Shikani went down there. Remember, Shikani went down there and was like, he was like, um. I, he tried to he tried to get a little game up on Krishna. He tried to be like, I know what you're up to, Krishna. You ain't gonna fool nothing with me, Krishna. Then, 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 and Krishna's just laughing like, What do you mean, Shakani? 
what you mean, Shikani? I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and there's Shikani. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. You think you're going to get over on me? Well, he sure does, though, doesn't he? Because <laughs> Krishna always got some pranks. Even since he was little, got to have some pranks going. And he always got some plank, pranks and some plans. And he had a plan for this because, first of all, somehow Arjun made it to the to town to, to, to work or to complete his, or that temple. Then he's got to send his sister there and be like, go give this stuff to the, you know, the, the um, sages and, and the Brahmas are, are the, in there. And she's like, oh, fine. First she was questioning, why I got to do that? And she's like, well, your brother... Krishna said to do it that you should do it I mean anything Krishna say I would do so she finds out she goes and sees Arjun but that Shakunti already knew he was there because remember when he walked over there and he spotted Arjun and he's like that's Arjun he spotted him now that first time when he was d doing his hair and the sa thought he was a sage and all that Remember when with the Drupadi trying to get her hand in marriage? He didn't recognize her then. Not, Karn had to recognize her. But now Shakunti got that, that eye for Arjun. <laughs> he recognized him right away. So then, you know, they're going to make this little plan that she's going to abduct Arjun, which is just funny. But Shakunti too, he, he was like right out. He was like got in his chariot with the brother and was like, oh, no, let's stop this. And he's trying to stop it. Then he's going over there trying to stop this. And and here goes by, you know, Sapari with Arjun passing him with, with her abducting him. <laughs> then they got to go back because they're over there waiting for her to get married. Then they got to go back and tell tell uh, everybody, everybody, the, the brother, the, how do you say his name, Balram? They got to tell him. They got to tell the, 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 the king, the, the blind king, the mean prince, and Bhishma. They got to tell them all that the sister done abducted Arjun and, and going off to get married with him. <laughs> they sure wasn't having that. They sure. Although when, uh, you know, Krishna came in and was like, yeah, that's what happened. The sister, she left Dwarka. She done abducted Arjun. And then you know, you saw his brother. He's just laughing at him like, oh, Krishna, what you up to now? You know that his older brother done went through some stuff with him through all his life. He knows his pranks. He knows his tricks, but he also knows what Krishna says. Like, you follow what Krishna says. That's the, the right path right there. So all he could do was laugh. Well, everybody else wasn't. <laughs> everybody, you know, first, first the mean king and everything. But, and, and Shakani and, and, the, and the blind king. Oh, he was doing his little eye rolling and everything. I was like, oh, he's got, he's all uh, worked up. I love my Krishna because he has always got a plan. And he always speaks in, in, in. You know, the path of righteousness, the path of, I don't even say common sense, and just the right thing to do. And he tells them, he's like, you know, because Bisha wants, Bishma wants to come up and be like, oh no, she was promised. She can't get married to Arjun because she was already promised. And Krishna's like, what? You saying she's not married? Did, did they exchange vows? Did she accept him as her husband? So anybody can get married with, if with just a promise? Bishma don't have nothing to say to him. Bishma don't have nothing to say. And then he's like, well, we're never going to accept that, that marriage and, and this and that. And Krishna's like, well, if you if you rebel against it, then that means you rebel against Arjun and all them. And now that little town's an independent country. If you don't accept the daughter-in-law, that little town that, that, that Yudi's leading and everything, that's going to be its own country. So either you accept your daughter-in-law or they're going to be their own country. So then they they got, I'm like, Krishna, you do your thing. You do your thing, Krishna. <laughs> and then they have no other choice but to accept that marriage. Bishma's just always getting on my nerves. So there they go with the the, the marriage with Arjun and Sapara and, and, and you know they're going to be mad because remember, they're, they're there and, and, and Arjun's like, bless me, king, you know, the blind king. He's like, bless you. <laughs> he didn't even, he, he didn't try to object, but he was just like, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Go on. He, like, he didn't want nothing to do with it. They were so mad. And then when he went to his mom, oh, with the tears in his eyes, Arjun, the love Arjun has for his mom, that's just, it just shows like, you know, if you love your mother and respect her, you're going to love your wife. You're gonna love your daughters like that and respect them. That just that right there is the foundation of just 
a good husband or somebody that loves their mom like that and, and respects her. And when he sees his mom and she sees him and they got tears in my, their eyes, oh, I started tearing up. I did. And whenever Arjun gets like that, I start tearing up. I do, you know, I got my special place in my heart for my Arjun. But then here comes Bishma going to be getting on my nerves. Here comes Bishma talking about, uh, don't even, remember he's going to go bless him. He's like, don't touch my feet. I was like, Bishma, why? First of all, after all these, the, the mean prince did, all that stuff, and then how the, the blind king got you in that little trap, you know, you're going to forgive them, but then this happens, and you're going to treat our June like that? Do you want to treat the, the, our June, the ones that always been by your side, did the right things in life, been suffering in life, and you're going to treat, I was so, I'm getting so mad at Bishma, so mad. Krishna wasn't having it either. Krishna come up there and is like, oh, you have no other choice. You got to accept this blessing. <laughs> and he's like, I ain't going to accept this blessing. And, but Krishna always going to drop knowledge. Bishma, Krishna drops that knowledge and Bishma have nothing to say to him. Nothing. Then Shakundi's going to think he's slick. Huh? Shakundi's going to think he's slick over there talking about, oh, well, you, but to, to the oldest brother, well, you know, I, I don't, I feel sorry for, don't, don't be upset, he, well, you know, with us. I feel sorry for your sister because then he's going to drop the little vow or, you, you know, she's like going to have to live here forever because she can't go to that kingdom because the vow they took. And he didn't know about that. He was like, what? <laughs> the I was like, there's Shikani starting problems. Starting problems always, Shikani. But he didn't know. He's like, what? Oh, no, you have... Two choices. You're going to stay here, like live here and work with, with the sister, or you're bringing her with her. And apparently, Cunty said you're bringing her with her. Right? Apparently, Cunty said you bring her with her. You know, so, and then you got poor Drapati over there. <laughs> poor Drapati. It's her year with, with our June, and, and he's gone doing his penance. So she's like, well, he's gone doing his penance. I'm going to do my penance. So she's there waiting for him, doing a penance. We can't wait for him to return. Finally, he returns. With a wife. She was not having that was she? Well, I have this little clip right here. Drapati man. Because she did a fire and everything. She's like, you ain't coming to this town. Had the fire going. So let's check this out. It's Drapati's man at Arjun. Did you see this clip about Drapati's anger? Angry at Arjun? It's short. Ready? Let's do it. Go. And there she left. And they got that fire going there. And poor Sapari just just in that in that carriage, like what? And and then that fire got bigger. She's like, oh no. I mean, poor Arjun stuck in this situation. What is Arjun supposed to do? Even the brothers came up and they're like, we understand your predicament. We'll go try to talk to her. They, she wasn't having it when they went and tried to talk to her. She was still not having it. Pari, she's like, I'm going to fix this. I was like, oh, I'm liking Sapari. I was a little jealous of her first. But she she did the prayers. She walked through that fire. Like, she put out, extinguished the fire. And she went and talked to Drapati. Got a clip of that, too. Y'all want to watch this when, when uh, Sapari went to go talk to Drapati? Because first she, she just gave her, her helpers there, like, Things to break. Watch her. Protect this for me. You know, the pe she had a peacock feather. Watch this over for me. Protect this. Protect that. And Drapati came out and she's like, why do you need protection? You're going to be with Arjun. He's the most, like, one of the most powerful warriors. You're going to need protection. And, and, and she had some stuff, like, to turn around Drapati's thinking, didn't she? Let's check this out together. Y'all ready? Let's go. I <coughs> remember oh, no, she's like, stop it, Sajra. She's like, she's like, don't talk bad about her. She was trying to do a little, little manipulation with her. She learned it from Krishna. And that, that just shows Drapati loves Arjun. She's always going to take up for him, too. This was something new to you going at it right here. And 
that's when remember Drapati wasn't fooled though. She's like, You're you're tricking me. You are saying some stuff just to get on my good side or, or to mess with me now. And I know exactly who you learned it from, your brother Krishna. And then Sapari had nothing to say. She's like, Yeah. <laughs> that's what Krishna told me to say. <laughs> she was, she was like, Yeah, that's what Krishna told me to say. But also she's like, I just want I wanna be here and serve like be the queen with you. You're the queen, the high queen. She's like, I just want to, she wants a sister. She has those brothers. She wants a sister. I'm like, oh, I hope they get along. I do, because that's how it left it. You're like, what's going to happen? Is she going to accept her? Or is our June and her going to have to go? I feel like, because Draupadi knows, and she knows the predicament. Like, if anybody could relate, Draupadi can, because she was put in that same predicament. And had to be accepted about, you know, marrying the five brothers. She had to be accepted for that. And 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 still everybody look at her like a, her with a purity and everything. So if anybody could understand, it could be Drapati. And she's a good hearted person. I think she will. But I can also understand her anger. Because if I was married to Arjun, I wouldn't want no second wife. <laughs> I was like, now Arjun's bye. <laughs> That's my Arjun. Season 13's next. Can't wait to see what happens then. But I just know, it's just like every season is just non-stop, non-stop things happening that I just can't put it down. I'm like episode after episode after episode. Wow, y'all. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, and all that down below. Until next time. Mwah!